thing right now on the line. We got the creator, the man behind Murder Inc. Mm. The man behind the Murder Inc. story on BET. It's going down. Irv Gotti. Irv, where you at right now? I'm in Atlanta. You know, I'm getting. You know, I'm, I'm actually. I'm in the middle of shooting my my first feature film, Tales Presents. We made it in America. Oh, nice! Y'all gonna love it too. Oh, my hip hop coach is gonna love this movie. Let's first start off saying congratulations to being one of the most successful hip hop labels of our time because a uh, Murder Inc. the late '90s and 2000s, it was a good time to be alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> it's good music. I pride myself on making great, feel good music that'll stand the test of time. Mm-hmm. And last night was the kickoff of the five part docu series of the Murder Inc. story. Murder Inc. story. I you know, when I decided and made the commitment to make it. You know what I'm saying? I knew a lot of the things was about to happen for me uh, with my deal, my big deal that I'm about to sign with me trying to shoot movies and everything, mm-hmm. and TV. And, I, you know, so I, I basically said, you know, it's it's time. Because people was asking me to, to do my doc for a minute. Mm-hmm. But I felt like this was a great time to tell my full story. And, you know, I, I tell the beginning how, what inspired me to be who I am and the success, you know, it's a big family story because I'm the youngest of eight kids, same mother and father and how my father, when he got fired and laid off, like it inspired me to, to, to be successful for my family Mm -hmm. and, you know, goes into the success, JX, Ja, Ashanti and everything like that. And goes into the success, goes into the demise. We talk about the feds, we talk about 50, Mm -hmm. we talk about the bad times. And then, like now, it's so crazy because you know this. You know the biblical story of Job. Mm-hmm. Y'all do y'all know it? Yeah, know yeah. JC yeah. does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little rough. <laughs> okay, so basically, basically, the story in a nutshell is you know, the Job guy he had a lot, and God took it all from him mm-hmm. to test his faith. And after he took it from him and tested his faith, he gave it back to him tenfold. Yep. Once he, he, he passed the test of the faith. And I feel very much like Job. Mm-hmm. I feel like he blessed me early on with this with my music career and then he took it all from me when the feds came, fifty came and everything. And really I, I ain't even supposed to be on the phone with y'all. I was supposed to be over and dead and gone. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I pivoted, I got into T V, I was blessed with DET giving me the opportunity to make my Tales TV series. And when that happened, like, everything just started happening to the point where I signed a $300 million deal. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Mm -hmm. So I I do feel very, very appreciative to God. Mm -hmm. I feel God is with me in, in every sense of the word. I feel like he's really with me. I be telling people God is holding my hand, walking me to a pot of gold and walking me to live my dreams. I said, I'm not letting go of his hand. I'm just not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, what happens? Uh, what people, I'm not letting go of his hand. You know what I'm saying? He, mm-hmm. He's really been blessing me, you know? So we did see some interviews and talk about, you know, people part of the documentary. We heard they said that Shanti wasn't, you know, part of being with Boop wasn't able to be a part of it. But what about Charlie Baltimore and Vita and Cadillac Ty and everyone Lloyd? Everyone else, everyone else has, it was a part of my documentary. Okay. Except Ashanti. And I tried, I asked, I asked her mom, I asked uh, uh, Shia, her sister. I wanted some voice to speak on her behalf. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no mistake. She's, she was a big part of the Merlin. princess. Yeah. So, yo, listen, I, I tried, guys. So everyone listening, <laughs> I really tried. I tried three separate times. You know, I, did. I tried three separate times and she she said no each time. So what am I to do? Am I to, am I, so what am I? What am I? I asked y'all, what am I to do? Oh, the shanty's not doing it. Forget it. No doc. No. But do you understand why she on. might feel away? Yeah, I understand why she might feel away, but I also I also feel like, hey, you could tell your side. I'm telling my truths. Tell your truths. Fair. So and she chooses not to, to to acknowledge our existence, but it's all good. And I'm glad you said that because you said that she no would more ne- Shanti talk. They're giving me the the cutthroat to tell you guys if you want more Shanti talk. Tune in 9 p.m. On- <laughs> 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 you mentioned the story of Joe. You also said you're a man of your faith. And you speak out on them things that you want to speak out about. Okay, got all that. Now, 
My question to you is, you said that you used to have sex with women and you would lay, you wouldn't, you never had the opportunity to lay and just talk with those people. Um, does Irv want to be married again? Does Irv want to be in love again? Or um, was Ashanti the one? Did she get away? I mean, I ask God that all the time. I ask God, like, you know, who wants to die alone with all this bread, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I've come to, to the conclusion it's, you know, it's whatever God wants for me, man. Mm-hmm. He wants to bless me with a beautiful wife. I, I would say, like, with me now being the older guy and more mature, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for that. I could be that person to my wife that she, she would want and need me to be. Mm-hmm. I wasn't that person in my 20s and 30s. I was I was running around. Guys. He's a wild boy. Yeah. Man, I was very <laughs> successful. I had millions of dollars. Murder rank was hot as can be. And I was running around. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. But that was my life. That right. was my truth. You know, you know, when I broke up with Deb, when me and Deb parted ways, mm-hmm. I gave her complete honesty. And I was just like, yo, I don't know if I could be the person that you want me to be. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm like, I'm, I'm a cheater. I'm a, I'm a bastard. And <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to stop. And yeah. she, she really loved and appreciated that. It was tough on her, but she loved and appreciated the truth. And it was like, it was, it was a, a cleansing almost that I did. Mm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So we continued on to raise beautiful children. Has Irv got that cleansing? Because I know you said the dad got it, but has Irv had that yes, cleansing? I told you, with me maturing yeah. with, with everything that I'm a totally different person from who I was, you know, 15, 20, 25 years ago. Mm-hmm. I'm a different person. Mm-hmm. I've matured, I've learned. Everything like that. I love it. So tell me, you said in the documentary, you talk about the whole 50 Cent and the Fed case. When the 50 Cent and Ja Rule thing was going on, was you like, you know what, we got to chill this bad for business, or was you gang gang? I mean, this, this is, when you think of the Feds and the 50 thing, this isn't something that I planned. I'm mm-hmm. very much a planner. I'm very much an executor of my plan. I didn't plan for the hottest rap in the world to be coming at me and my label. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know what the beef was that he... You know, he drummed up in his head, but really, we was the hottest ones on top of the world. We all from Queens, and he came at us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and, <laughs> and he had Emmett Dre, and he had In the Club, which was one of the hottest hip hop records. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It was all part of God testing me. That's the only thing that I can say. You think I wanted the feds to come? Not at I, all. They took every penny. I was $2 million in the hole from paying legal fees and everyone's lawyers. You think I, I wanted that or I asked for that? No. I was best friends with Kenneth Supreme McGriff. I'm still best friends with Kenneth Supreme McGriff. Mm-hmm. And I I didn't do nothing wrong. I was just friends with who someone deemed a drug dealer and a gangster. Right. I'm still friends with them. But mm-hmm. there's nothing reason, there's no reason to come and and get me. That's why I was not guilty. So I had to deal with all of that. You right. Understand? But did I want it? Did I ask for it? Did I like it? No. The last juicy question is, of course, when DMX passed away, uh, you you said you spoke out of turn. Had did anybody, you know, reach out to you after you had stated that X had, you know, passed from? I spoke to Tashira. Okay. To the, the to the person who mattered uh, mattered. Okay. Tashira. Yeah. And Tashira wasn't mad at me. Okay. That's the funny thing, because Tashira was like, "Irv, you you X's brother," and she was like, "You know." You loved him and he loved you. And the one thing about X, yes, I did speak out of turn, but I don't think X, I don't think X was up in heaven mad at me because mm-hmm. X was a truthful person as well. Mm-hmm. X bid his soul. He told people the, the good and the bad of what he did. Right. That said, should I have said it? No. I should have said nothing. I should have, I should have, he said no comment when I was doing radio for Chicago and they asked me what was the cause of his death and I'm in his inner circle. I, I was, I was told what I was, what I said. Mm-hmm. You know gotcha. what I'm but should I have said it? No. Gotcha. I, I'm gotcha. not political. I went, you ask me a question, I answer it. I don't. But I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start pissing off everybody. But that's what, what we love about her. <laughs> Look, and when y'all ask me a question, it's going to be no comment. Next question. <laughs> it's going to be boring, <laughs> non-exciting, and, and no one is going to want to interview me or talk to me, and that's fine, too. Well, It'll just be me, my family, and all this bread. All right, Irv Gotti, can't wait to see the rest of the Murder, Inc.